here so this is the uh, the third this is gonna be the third and kind of the fourth experiment that we'll be doing with the light speed battery charger and I've got the Suron battery and the Suron charger with me too we're gonna do another experiment after this one so the experiment is to see if we can charge this battery with this 2000 watt generator here so it's a 2000 watt surge and 1600 watt um, I know sur surge is when you plug something in and like that's how much of a hit it can take before, you know, so it won't shut off. There's a certain amount of, there's a certain amount of uh, current that uh, that you can uh, that has to be uh, overcome before you know you can start start a certain appliance like like a like an air conditioner. An air conditioner has something like that, or a refrigerator. There's a it has it has like a surge voltage or something. Uh, I don't know if there's much of a surge when you plug these in, so I'm not 100% on that. But it's 2,000 surge and 1,600 watts, like just running, running, uh, uh, running power on this guy. Okay. Um, and I do know for sure that we can use the Suron charger with this generator here, so that's a good thing. So I already I already know it can handle 10 amps because that's how much this puppy this puppy puts out. Okay. So so let's go, let's get this experiment started. So first. Uh, We'll go fire up my generator here. It, it, it is low on gas. I hope it doesn't. I hope it doesn't run out of gas. So, right. so the reason I, I use a generator is if I don't have a power source where I'm at to charge my bike. So this, if I go camping and there's no power anywhere, um, I will have to use a generator to recharge my battery. That, or I have to go home or find some place that has a plug. And if you're out in the middle of you know the wilderness, there's no power out there. So so yeah. So you, so as you saw in the last video, I was able to charge my Lightspeed battery at a maximum of two amps you know, using my van's onboard inverter, but that was only a 750 watt inverter. This puppy is almost three times the power, almost three times the power of that 750 watt inverter and, and alternator on my van. So hopefully, uh, hopefully this one will fare a little better. And then. For the, for the second test, we'll be using, we'll try to charge with both chargers at the same time. So, and for that experiment, we're going to jack the, um, the current all the way down on a light speed battery and then uh, the light speed battery charger and then just plug the Suron charger in. And we'll see how many amps we can do before the uh, generator takes a dump on us, okay? Alright, so let's go fire this generator up. Maybe we want to let it warm up for a little bit. Uh, okay. Uh, also, just in case you're wondering what generator this is, this is the Smarter Tools AP 2000 IQ portable generator. Okay. It's probably equivalent to like a Honda generator. It's probably not as fancy as a Honda generator, but it's pretty close. Uh, this actually has a Yamaha engine in it, by the way. A Yamaha MZ80 engine. Okay. So that is the generator we'll be using. I do know it functions with this Soran charger, okay? Because I've, I've used it many hours with it. Okay, here we go. So I'm going to plug in the high speed battery charger. And I'm going to plug it straight into the power cord. Oh, dude, the, the cord is so short on this thing. Literally have to be right next to the generator. Okay. Boom. Okay, plugged in. Fired up. Boom. I think it was set at one amp the last time. So it's all the way down. Okay, we're gonna go plug in our charger cable. Okay.
looks like it's charging at one amp just fine. Let's turn it up to two amps. We'll just keep on going up until it, uh, you know, it's two amps. We'll keep it there for a few seconds before we keep on going up. Okay, let's try three amps. Oh, there you go. You can hear, you can hear the motor, the the RPM go up more on the, on the generator. Let's go four amps. Let me zoom in a little bit here. Okay, we're at four amps, five amps. Should be some kind of alarm here when it's too much power. Okay, it's still it's still going. I can hear that motor. It's working hard though. Six amps. see how it's doing after five minutes and then we'll unplug it okay all right so I'll see you guys in five minutes okay he's right here it's been about five minutes and 30 seconds from since we last met and it's still charging it's it's really freaking loud right now though okay all right I'm gonna go turn we're gonna go turn the uh, the, the current all the way down Wow look at that man <laughs> Sounds totally different when it's charging at one amps compared to 12 amps. Okay, so just in case you guys are wondering what kind of heat this bad boy puts off when it's charging, the case is putting off 95 degrees. Okay, 95 degrees, not not too hot. If it's over 100, it's pretty hot. I do notice it gets warmer here on the right side. So if you got a fan or something, an external fan, you probably probably a good idea to hook it up. And it's really hard to see this. Uh, yeah, you can't really see what it says, but it's 88.5 is what it says. There is a fan, there is a cooling fan on the back, by the way, so that's what helps cool it. Okay. It seems like it runs pretty good. And it's pretty quiet, too. So, it's nice. Okay. So we're going to have our second experiment here. The second experiment to see is if we can charge two batteries 
at one time with one generator, okay? I'd imagine if you had a really, really powerful generator, you could probably do it. But uh, let's see, uh, let's see if we can do it. We're gonna plug our Suron charger on right here. Okay, it's not doing anything right now though. Let me zoom out a little bit so you can see the Suron battery. There's the Suron battery right there. I'm gonna go ahead and plug the Suron battery in. Immediately hear it get louder. And it is charging at one amp right now. So when that starts blinking red, we know it's charging. Okay, there we go. You hear it's getting a little bit louder. There you go. Oh, yeah, there we go. It's ramping it up now. As you can see, I'm charging two batteries at the same time with with a 2,000 watt uh, portable generator. Not bad. Okay, so we're gonna take this up a notch, okay? So we're gonna see how much how much we can charge at the same time. So you figure like if you had two 10 amp chargers running at the same time, that's uh that's 20 amps. What's so 20 times 120? <laughs> So 20, oops, what's going on here? All right, 20 times 120 is 2,400 watts. So it probably can't do 10 amps, okay? But we'll see how many amps it can do before the generator says, I don't want to charge anymore. <laughs> I don't want to charge this anymore, okay? Okay, here we go. Same. Same experiment that we did earlier, but except with two with a 10 amp charger already plugged in. Okay, so we're gonna go two amps. Okay, that's two amps. That's uh, that's a combined 12 amps right now. Okay, it's pretty much charging as it much as it was before. Okay, so I get to see how much my generator can handle before it says no more. Okay, three amps. Combine 13 amps right there. Okay. Should we go for 14? Right, well, so we knew we couldn't do 20. 20 is too much. But we'll see how far we can take it. 14 amps right here. Okay, we're gonna go 
go for 20 Fs. I didn't even think it would make it this far, man. <laughs> Batteries fully charged. You can go ahead and just dis disconnect this, and then turn this one up all the way. But right now we're charging at 19 amps. Uh, at, at 20 amps, it's uh, it, oh, the overload light. Oh, the overload light is, is flashing right now, actually. Overload alarm. There you go. Ooh, it flashes a little bit. You see. Flashing a little bit, so 19 is too much. Don't charge 19. <laughs> okay, 18. 18, I'm not getting any overload alarm. I don't want to break my generator, so <laughs> I'm, I'm, uh, I'm torture testing it right now. <laughs> okay, so it seems like you can reliably charge 18 amps if you really need to charge batteries really fast, two of them at the same time, you could do 10 amps. You can just plug the Suron charger in at 10 amps, and then you can plug the light speed battery charger in at 8 amps, okay? And, and this, this particular generator will do it, so you can see right now, okay? I would say charge at 15 amps, so I'm going to turn it down to 15. Plus, it makes a whole lot of noise when you've got a jacked up ball. Okay? So it's charging half as much as that one is charging. Half as much as that one is charging. Okay? Okay, so that, that concludes it. Let me go turn all this stuff off. a lot quieter when there's nothing charging <laughs> and it's just idling uh, yeah so uh, so there you go that concludes the experiment for this video so in this video we check to see if we could charge with the light speed bikes charger with my 2000 watt portable generator and it did it no problem uh, up to the maximum amount of amps it was fine okay um, and then the second part of the experiment we saw we could charge two things at one time on a 2000 watt portable generator and you can you can do it you and we found out you can do it reliably you can we can do it reliably up to 18 amps or yeah yeah, yeah up to 18 amps was it 18 or 17 amps so somewhere around there but i would say to, to just not to stress the generator out you should probably charge it at 15 amps if you're not in a real big hurry to charge a bunch of batteries then that's that you know that's fine um, yeah so so I would say if you're not in a big hurry 15 amps or 5 amps on the light speed battery charger and then uh, and then if you're really in a hurry you can go you can jack it up to 18 amps or, or 8 amps on the uh, light speed battery charger all right, well, thanks. Thanks for watching.